All right, here's an experiment that I've wanted to do for a long time. Heard about this. This right here is 7075. I sanded it, it's kind of shiny. And uh, it's aluminum. And this here is a grip that I make for the 1911. And that's 6061. And uh, I've heard that if you take uh, muriatic acid from your swimming pool, you know, uh, just as typical chemicals you add to your pool, you splash it on some aluminum, one will react differently than the other. And um, here I have, this is just a, the neighbor gave it to me. I'm going to pour it in the cap. You can kind of see it discolored the cap a little bit. But, uh, try and keep the camera out of focus here. So I got some stuff there. And I'm just going to carefully pour it on there and on there. Whoa. Look at that. Let me get some more in there. Oh, dang. Look at that. That aluminum's going crazy. Let me get a stick. Separate them. So, you can see a big difference. The 7075 is freaking out. The 6061 seems to be holding up. Look at that. Completely different. So now why would I do an experiment like that? Because that was awesome. Now let's get some more in there. Let's see this thing go. So there it is. 7075. The reason why I do an experiment like this is because everybody fusses about the 7075 lower receiver and the 6061 lower receiver. And I'd be willing to bet that 99% of all lower receivers are made out of 6061. And now you know how to do the test and see the results. There you go. Check out that reaction. Freaking amazing. So I think that's muriatic acid attacking the zinc in 7075 aluminum. So now you guys know what to look for.